Hi guys, this is Material Girl 338, otherwise known as Diane. I'm making tonight uh, hot dogs, and I'm making um, the onions that you put over the hot dogs. And this is a, a, a recipe from Brooklyn. Um, I grew up in Brooklyn. We had Nathan's famous hot dogs and uh, Sabret hot dogs. So the Sabret and the Nathan's used to use the onion uh, sauce over it. And this is so far the closest thing that I have gotten to. And I've been making this recipe for years now. And I thought I'd show it to you guys. I, I don't eat too many hot dogs. They're really, you know, not healthy for us. But when I do buy them, I buy Applegate and I buy the uncured beef hot dogs. I no longer buy Nathan's or um, uh, the... Um, fabric I just don't I don't trust them anymore so in this other pot I'm gonna cook my hot dogs meanwhile in this pot I have avocado oil and I cut up some onions they were small so a couple of onions you know just enough for you and your family and I put oregano and salt and pepper. And now I want to make the onions get soft. And guys, I have my washing machine on and it, it makes a lot of noise, so. And this is a, a really quick dish. It's not, you know, complicated. And also these hot dogs are um, Whole30 compliant. That's the whole 30 compliant. I think I will try that for maybe a month. I've been looking at it and, and watching the videos on it. And um, I think her name is Melissa, but I forgot her last name. So I have the water on. And I don't put too much water in when you're making the hot dogs. Because you don't want to take the juice, you know, away from them as they're boiling. Now the hot dogs, when they get to a boil, when they start to boil, I put them on simmer. And I just do it simmer for maybe about 15 minutes. Because you don't want to crack them. If you keep them on boil, if you're boiling them, what's going to happen is they're going to split and they're going to crack. So keep them on high till they boil and then put them on simmer. And meanwhile, my onions are getting nice and brown. Nathan's had the best hot dogs. And, you know, growing up in Brooklyn, too, we had uh, the Jewish delis, the delicatessens. <gasps> Their hot dogs were so delicious. The potato knishes. Um, I don't know. I can't make the hot dogs the way they make them. I think Brooklyn had the best food. Because we had such a different, you know, we had such a um, mixed of nationalities here. Yeah, everybody brought their their A game. Alright, so these are cooking a little bit and I just dirtied up my stove. So I'll tell you what you need in this recipe. You need the avocado oil, you need the onions. A little bit, I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, paste just to give it some flavor and apple cider. You need this. You need oregano. A little bit of salt and pepper like I said before and some sugar. You want your onions to be soft. And then I'm going to have a little bit of water because you, once you put the paste in here, you know, it gets thick and you don't want it to burn. So I'm going to bring you closer. And I guess you could see it better this way. All right, I'm going to put some.
And now you're gonna, you know, mix it around. Will you guess? shake this. I'm going to add a capful. You could use white, uh, white to still, doesn't matter. And then a little bit of sugar, just a little bit. Now I'm going to put some of my water in here because you don't want it to burn. And you don't want it too watery because it's just a juice that's going to go, you know, it's the onions that are going to go over the hot dogs. So, add a little bit more. A little bit, I gotta fill this up. Just a little bit, because you want like a sweet and sour kind of a, a flavoring. See, the onions cook down. They cook down a lot. So I just add a little bit more water. I don't want it. Taste it. Need a little bit of salt. going to put this on, simmer it, and you're going to cover it. I don't know what happens to my cover. Oh, I found. Okay, so this is going to go, you're going to simmer this just a couple of minutes, and if you see it's too dry like this, see when I'm separating it, it's too dry, add a little bit more water, just a little bit. Because the water is going to steam the, um, the onions and it'll make them soft. So you're gonna cover this, put it on simmer. It's only gonna cook for maybe about five five minutes the most because it's already cooked. And if you have this and you use it, you use paste and you only use a little bit of it, the way to preserve this is you put some out you put this in a uh, plastic jar with no water and you put this and you put some olive oil on top of it and cover it and freeze it. When you want it, you just scoop out a little bit. The olive oil preserves the paste. And you can get, it can stay in the freezer for a long time. As long as you cover it, you coat the whole thing with olive oil. Okay, so now my hot dogs are cooking. And I said before, um, you want to bring them to a boil. Once they start to boil, you put them on simmer. And this is cooked. My... My onions are cooked. You put them on simmer and you let them simmer for a good uh, 15, not even, maybe 10 minutes. You want to cook them, but you know, you don't want to overcook them. All right, guys. So I'll show you the finished dish once the hot dogs are done. Hey friends, it's Material Girl 338. I'm going to do a recipe for you that is so simple and if you like are stumped and you don't know what to make. I bought this at Trader Joe's. This is their creamy organic tomato soup. It is delicious. And um, I made some rice earlier today. I made some white rice. I'm not gonna put all this rice into the soup. So, you, of course you wanna shake it because it's thick. I tried this uh, a couple weeks ago, and I was really, really surprised because it's good. It's really good. So, I just want to get that. 
thingy out of there. So all I do is put the tomato uh, soup into the pot. And then I have the, the rice that's already cooked. So it's just going to, you know, as a side dish. And then when the rice uh, cooks, and when the, not when the rice cooks, when this heats up, I'm just going to heat a little bit separately because if you put this in the soup, it's going to absorb all the liquid and you're going to have no soup. So I'm just going to do a little bit. This is a quick, easy um, meal just to put together. You don't know what to make. Okay, and then you just let it come to a, a little a mild boil and then you shut it off. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please post them below. And please subscribe to my channel because I always have new videos coming in. Thank you. Bye. This is the uh, hot dog. I have the onions on it. And I made some delicious tomato soup. With that, put some rice in it. And if you have a Trader Joe's near you, try this. You're going to really like this soup. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you subscribe to my channel, I always have other videos coming in. And please leave a comment because I do interact with my fellow YouTubers. Thanks, guys. Everybody have a great day.